My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Market. Network Market. 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 All right, welcome back to the show. In this episode, we're going to continue our conversation from yesterday and talk about what we need to do as network marketers if we want to survive and thrive in the modern age. Um, to recap from yesterday's episode, we touched on two things so far. The first thing is shifting from recruiting business builders and building downlines to really focusing on acquiring and keeping customers, right? We've got to become more customer centric, customer focused. And that shift is already happening, right? It's, it's kind of gradually been happening for the last 10 to 15 years or so in the profession. So that's in play. The second thing that, that we touched on yesterday is that we need to adjust and update our comp plans to, uh, to account for this shift, right? If we want the behavior to shift from recruiting business builders to acquiring and keeping customers, we have to reward that behavior. And, and typically, historically in network marketing, our compensation plans only paid out when you recruit other business builders, right? For example, the, the, the typical binary compensation plan, you can only qualify for commission if you recruit somebody on your left leg and, and somebody on your right leg. Right? You have to recruit at least two, two people in, in, in your typical binary um, uh, comp plan. Um, and so, so that's, that's got to go out the door, right? Or, or keep that, but add something else where you're rewarding the behavior for acquiring and keeping customers, right? People have to be able to make money without having to recruit a single business builder. The example I used yesterday is in Yoli, we, we recently added a, uh, an update to our comp plan earlier this year where we get paid 20% on all customer volume, right? That's new customers that we acquire and, and recurring customers that, that, uh, that keep coming back and, and, and buying more, right? Customer acquisition and customer retention. And so we get paid 20% for the life of all the customers that, uh, that uh, we enroll, right? So now we have an opportunity to create a residual income income without ever having to recruit a single business builder, without ever having to build a downline, right? And so these are the kind of updates that, that, and shifts that need to happen in, in, uh, in network marketing if we want to stay relevant in the marketplace. Now, the third thing is our marketing practices, right? We need to update our marketing practices. Yes, old school still works. Belly to belly, in-person connection still works, right? Warm market strategies still work. Continue to talk to your friends and family. I agree, of course, you have to, right? Especially if you believe in the benefits of your, of your products and services, you wanna share those benefits with the people that you care about, your friends and family. Beyond that, however, if we're talking about cold market strategies, we really, really have to be open to looking at the internet, online marketing, online funnels, social media marketing, influencer marketing right because this is this is where the market's at right it about i think it was an episode or two ago i talked about how the pandemic really accelerated the shift in the marketplace and has pushed more people online right so so consumer consumer attention as as is largely on the internet social media uh, and things like that and as a result businesses have shifted their their marketing dollars away from traditional um, uh, marketing channels and have, have moved them to online marketing, social media marketing, influencer marketing, right? Um, and 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 there's this massive growth. Like this this ecosystem is growing, growing, and growing. In the meanwhile, if like us doing business the traditional way that we've been doing it for the last 50 years is is shrinking, 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 right? Like where our market share is shrinking, this ecosystem is growing. And then on top of that, I mean, the conversation about the gig economy and things like Uber, um, uh, uh, what, what are the other ones? Postmates, um, Lyft. Airbnb, where people have all these other options for creating extra income for themselves, we are becoming less and less relevant in the marketplace. So these shifts need to happen. Now, the shift for marketing is simple. We just have to be open to marketing online. Like that, it's as simple as that. And you have to create ways of, of acquiring customers using internet tools, using, using social media platforms, um, and creating systems for customer acquisition. Um, there's no getting around it. And that's what my journey has been. In here for the show, right? Like, what is it? Uh, you know, we're about 75 days in, in, into this podcast. I started this podcast so I can really learn and, and, and figure out a way to, to create a, a customer acquisition system using the internet, leveraging social media, um, leveraging online marketing and influencer marketing. And, and so that way I stay relevant in the marketplace, right? So, so you know, this is something that you have to do. And this is why, again, I, I put this show together because I want to share what I'm learning with you. The main point for today, for this episode, is like to really, really get you to open your eyes and 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 
buy into uh, and and really start looking at internet for for your marketing needs, right? Again, if you're not looking at it, if you're not even thinking about it, um, then then the risk is going completely, completely obsolete and extinct, um, and you can't do that, right? So um, for us, again, I'm looking at it for my business, right? I'm looking at it for my own business so that I can teach teach these skills to my team, so so that I can teach these skills to you, and then and then actually from a corporate side, Yoli has put together a, an amazing co-op system where you can where you can participate in the co-op and, and then the 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 pool of money that's generated in the co-op gets spent on marketing and then and then you get a share of, of whatever customers are generated from that marketing it's a beautiful system actually um, and and uh, that's something that you can do for yourself the point is whether it's from the corporate side or it's from your own side as your own business builder as a leader of your team you got to create some sort of customer acquisition system that involves using the internet that involves social media marketing um, and and really just being where the customers are right being where their eyes are right being in front of them because because if you're trying to do it over here they're not looking over here they're looking over here right all right, let's go, go, go to where the customers are and create a customer acquisition system for yourself. Now, the last thing is, I, I know I talk a lot about my company here and uh, as the example because, you know, again, we realized both from uh, uh, the field leadership and the corporate leadership that we had to make these shifts. And, and, and I use my company as an example because especially if you are a person of prominence, um, if, you have, if you have a high level, have a level of influence in your particular company as a distributor, you're going to want to start dropping this in in the in the the management's ear right whoever whoever the company management is whoever the the corporate leadership is you're going to want them to start making these shifts because again if you if they don't their your company will go obsolete it will go obsolete at the very least start implementing and learning this stuff for yourself so that you can teach it um, to to your teams and then that way you guys have your own customer acquisition system right so whatever whatever again whatever the the equation is use use your influence and 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 build systems within your team or encourage the corporate leadership to build systems for the company right all right, that's the that's the main reason I bring up I bring up why, uh, my company as an example because we're doing it from both ends, right? Obviously, I'm doing it for my team, and and the corporate leadership and and management is doing it for for the company at large. So that's what's happening, and these are the shifts that we need to make in the profession because otherwise, again, everybody else is going to eat our lunch. There's so many different aspects and 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 different parts of the marketplace and business and the economy that are that that have over the last five to ten years been chewing away and eating away at our market share and it's really it's time that it's time for us to really wake up and, and start making a shift because if we don't we're gonna go extinct very very quickly so that's the episode for today hopefully it makes sense who knows if you guys got any questions you guys can reach out to me and of course actually I, I keep forgetting to mention this our Facebook page is now up right uh, we got a group page on Facebook it's path of the network marketer so it's facebook.com slash group slash path of the network marketer so you can go there it's a it's gonna you know my intention for that is for it to be a community that you can lean on you can get support um, and and get your questions answered you know just just throw out there whatever it is that you might be having difficulty with or challenges with in your business it's it, like I, I want that I want to build a community to help you get through that, through those things, through those challenges. So again, it's Path of the Network Marketer on Facebook. Join the group. Um, we can have further conversations on any of the topics that we talk about here on the show. And uh, and yeah, who knows? If you have any questions, I might address them here on the show, right? If you post a question on, in the group, it's it might be something that I that I could address and 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 uh, answer here on the podcast. So that's it for today. Again, tune in next time. We've got a fresh new episode tomorrow. So until then. Be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.